Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are ready for the complete start of the 2023 Gumball 3000. We're here in Edinburgh. The action is hotting up. The start gantry is just here for the European tour, the 24th annual Gumball 3000 from here in Scotland all the way to Montenegro over the next week. Behind me, we have the 10 cars. Hey Max. Hey, how are you? Good, thank you. We've got the 10 cars here that will be leading the Gumball 3000 grid to raise the most money for the Gumball 3000 Foundation. Some staggering amounts of money have been raised for charity. They're up at the front. Team Texas Express raised over £100,000. They're right up front. We're setting off today for day one in my Zenvo TSRS. So stay tuned for our departure over the grid a little bit later on. But we've got 100 or so Gumball supercars. Before all of that, we've got the photo call with the celebs taking part. We've got a whole lot going on. The atmosphere is crazy. Edinburgh is amazing. Let's do this. Gumball 3000 starting today in Scotland in Edinburgh. These are the cars at the front of the grid then, the top 10 that raised the most for the Gumball 3000 Foundation, the Rolls-Royce Ghost of Team Texas Express, followed by the AMG GT Black Series in the bright magma beam. Third up, we have the Ferrari F8 Spider just here. Then we get to my friend's Team Skookum in the 812 Superfast on it for the fifth rally in this very car. Next, we've got Team Relic bringing a slice of America to the grid. Then we go all Scottish with the Scottish flag on the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera. We've then got the Lamborghini Urus. If we keep coming through, we've got the Ferrari 812 GTS. We've got the Rolls-Royce Wraith. We've got the GT3 RS. We've got the GT3. We've got another Urus. We've got loads of cars, loads of crowd. This is obviously where it's all hotting up. Everybody's getting excited for the rally that is ahead. I cannot wait for this. Can we have this forward? is it. The cars are going to begin. The Rolls Royce Ghost engines. is going We've to kick things off. But do you know what? We've got some t-shirts here. Who wants a t-shirt? Come on, guys. What about this side? Who wants a t-shirt? <laughs> Let's get some of these out there. Anybody over here? Oh, straight over the top. <laughs> Let's get, come on. <laughs> Let's do this. The first car out on the grid. Team Texas Express are rolling. Have fun, guys. Right, what else do we have? We've got some flags. These are going to be harder to give out. Let me see what I can do. We're giving out some of these over here. Woo! We've got some flags, guys. Please give a warm welcome to Team Texas Express. Stop here, Texas. We've got the flags, we've got the t-shirts, we've got, well, we've also got the, uh, the confetti shooter. I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to give it a go and basically see what happens. Scotland, are you ready for the 24? It's time for the first, it's time for the first car to cross. Let's try and make our way a little bit through here. We're going to have the flag, the flag wave. This is it, this is it, guys. Three, and the flag waves. This is the start, let's so go, go, I guess it's here. time to <laughs> begin photo shoots. We are ready, Scotland. As the cars go down, we need you to make some noise. Give it up. Put your hands in the air. Show them. The first car off the grid, Team Texas Express. Ready, Unbelievable ready, effort ready, ready, as they make their way down the grid. I feel a little bit bad for popping this off in front of them, but hey. It's all in the fun okay, of Gumball 3000. Forward. Right, we're going to see all the cars now, or well, highlights of the cars coming through, and then it's Gumball 3000. It's underway now, it's officially on. The AMG GT Black Series is making its way out up the grid. The guys are off in the Magma Beam GT Black. We'll be jumping into my one of these for the last leg of this rally. The second car off the grid, look at this, over the cobblestones, down George Street, ready to hell now, Gumball 3000 is underway! Next up, the F8 Spider is coming through before Team Skookum, but these guys are off rocking the Texas hats. Wow, this is cool, this is a vibe. That car's from Italy, they are going! I think Team Skookum are going to get a confetti cannon as well. That car's been living at the Museum. Let's wait for the flag to wave. <laughs> The ears are feeling that one, loud and proud. These are quite a fun way to get this started. This is mad, the atmosphere is just crazy here. Oh wow, 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 wow. We're only four cars in, there are about a hundred more to go, including hypercars, including all sorts of crazy things. I mean, just look, let's just keep taking it all in. Please. Team Relic are rolling through from Wisconsin to Scotland, all the way from the US. 
That's dedication to the also rap. Really nice effort. That looks crazy. The Z28 Camaro. Grumbling. Proper American muscle there. Proper, proper American muscle as they head out onwards up this way. Look at the crowd here. Look at the crowd here. What an unbelievable place to be. Up through the flags. Hey, guys. <laughs> the DBS is rolling out. I love the wrap on here. Team 35, Aston Martin DBS Superleggera. Wonderful car to drive the Gumball 3000. It has to be said, look at the way the wrap comes over the back of the car, like a cape worn over their British Aston Martin as they get started for this drive down to Montenegro. We've got the female team in the Lamborghini okay. Urus. Coming forward They're off, bright colour as it should be. They're rolling through. They drove Toronto to Miami. Great fun. They're off for a great rally, I'm sure. Looking good. Off they go from California with that Lamborghini Urus. But next up, the wrap on the GT3 RS is about to come through. It's absolutely unreal. You've got to come and see this as we make our way through and take in what they've done. They literally picked up this car in Germany, did the running in. It's got a the running in on their way to here, to the start grid. It's now fully run in. They're Come ready to go. It's stepped out for Gumball 3000. Ball. They're pulling out of the grid. Okay. This Next is up. what it's about. Atmosphere is eclectic. This car looks amazing. I've yet to drive one, but cannot wait until I manage to get behind the wheel of a new GT3 RS. Sounds good. Of course, they can rev it up. It's run in. It's ready to go. No holding back, guys. What a car for the rally, the Ferrari 8-top GTS. One of my favorites out there in the world. The sound, the feel. Practical luggage space, looks the part, six and a half litre V12, can't complain about that in the slightest. Obviously stick it up over that black paint. Work. I mean, listen to that. Listen to the sound of that engine. What a car and they are off. Rolls-Royce Wraith team 112 going through in style and luxury. What a way to undertake the rally in the Rolls-Royce. You know they're in for a good time when they're driving in that thing. 992 GT3 coming through in dark blue. Bit of a poet there, unintentionally. <laughs> Great guys, back again on for an epic journey. Very cool thing, very cool to get underway in the GT3. We now have another Lamborghini Urus heading out on its way between the cars. I'm doing my best to pass out t-shirts and all sorts of things to the grid. Having fun here. Okay, another Ferrari on the move, the F8 Tributo. We've got a few Ferrari F8s on this rally. Ferrari's obviously mid-engine V8 supercar. Perfect car for the purpose, looks the part, and a great way to depart from this magnificent city of Edinburgh. The Team 80 911 Targa, roof down. That's from the US as well. Love seeing that people have traveled from around the world to take part in this rally. So much effort and dedication. And this is obviously just the start as everybody gets on the move. Now this stands out a mile away. We've got a bright orange Ferrari A12 from the Netherlands. The Dutch doing it as Dutch as they can in the bright orange. We're again a GTS, I think, yes. Top down, no doubt, once the rain has dried away. Very, very cool way to go in Team 32. Very bright way to go. There is no hiding, no holding back with that. We go from 812 to F12. The F12 Berlinetta coming through the start line. Look at that view Good under the gantry nice. as they now Where make their way here? through the crowd. Tens and tens of thousands of people here for the gumballers to get on the move. <laughs> They're off over from Spain. Love this, love plate spotting. Sound of that 6.3 V12. What's going to be up next? We've got a 63, I believe. Look at this, look at this view. This is so cool down the street like this. This is actually Bobby White, the team responsible for the spirit of the gumball and rings we saw at registration. Great to see them back. Third rally for the guys. Rocking the C63S as they get moving on their journey out of Scotland. Team Hell are back again, I believe, in the 765 LT Spider, their 10th time on Gumball 3000. Team Hell very apt when you look at the plate. What a plate, in fact. They've driven in 720S, in a 918, in all sorts of different cars over the years. This year, 765 Spider. Lamborghini Huracan STO. We have a few STOs on the rally. We will be jumping into mine for day three. A car that arguably is pretty useless for a rally. Absolutely no luggage space to speak of. 
a few of those these days, but hey, hopefully they've got a support car and they've got something to solve that little problem to take their bags and all the giveaways that we picked up at the registration room when we signed up for this year's rally. Talking of STOs, we go straight from one to another. This is the DS1 collection on the rally for their first time with both the STO that you can see and hear and the 765 LT that's running behind. These guys are here ready to show everyone what Gumball 3000 is about. DS1 collection quickly growing some very nice cars in their lineup and taking part in Gumball for the first time. Of course, we have our stickers with the same design. Edinburgh to Porto Montenegro, Team Shmi 150. Six cars with the six stars, 24 parts of the check and flag, the 24th Gumball. This is obviously going on Chiro from Petrol Hedonism's car when he comes on through. Wait, 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 wait. See you guys. <laughs> That is ridiculously loud. Then we've got the Roma coming through as well. <laughs> so many cars, so much craziness. I don't even know what's going on anymore, but we're just rolling with it. We've got a couple of Range Rovers coming through now. Thankfully, my car is being brought up to the front of the grid for me, because of course we're here taking in all of the action before we'll be getting underway quite shortly to make our move on this year's rally. We've got Michael Dapper, Team Tape. Tape are arranging the party throughout this rally. We'll be going to Tape in London, but they're managing all the rest. You see the Tape logos on the back of all of the cars. Michael Dapper obviously on board. I'm not sure which one I think the front car Two of them, though, making their departure. The 911 GT3 RS, again from the Netherlands. We've got a good Dutch turnout for this year's rally. Team 75, they are go. Have fun, guys, on the rally. This is what it's about, an SLS with the gullwing doors up. That's one of the reasons I've been looking forward to driving my SLS Black Series, which will be our car for day two of this rally. They're off, though, rocking those gullwing doors. Full gumball merch. Wow, they're here. They'll probably have to get those clothes ready for the roads as they make their way out of here. But look at this. Some noisy Lambos are about to arrive. It's going to get very loud. Full team, all green. SPJ, STO, and Urus. Well, we can hear there's an SPJ. We're going to have a few SPJs coming past. This one is loud. And actually, I can see the headlights of a Bugatti coming as well. Have fun, guys. <laughs> Enjoy. I shouldn't stand here. If they rev it right now, it will hurt. Thankfully, they haven't. We're lucky. Another STO coming through. This is literally the green team going on here. We can hear Edinburgh. Yes. We can hear the STO on the horn. <laughs> no, the Urus is on the horn. Have fun. <laughs> they're off. They're beeping away. We know they're in town. <laughs> Off they go. The next look. Next, we've got a Bugatti Chiron down there. That is the first of a couple of Bugattis coming through. Bugattis, Koenigseggs, and of course my Zembo shortly as well. Confetti is fired from the bug. They're out of here. Wow, that thing gets a move. <laughs> Omid joining the rally. Look at that. A Bugatti on Gumball is always a cool thing. Mega, 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 guys. To drive the miles they're about to drive in this thing. Absolutely crazy. Obviously, there's a bit of traffic now on the grid. Listen to that. W16, all of the power. Got a Ferrari FF, another great way to do the rally. Comfortable. They're from Portugal. That's cool. These are some good friends. Team 27 with GT3 from California. They've shipped the car over, done the wrap. They took their first rally in the Middle East. They're back now having fun, ready for this one. It's going to be an amazing ride in the 901.2 GT3. Ferrari SF90 Stradale. We will be in my SF90 for day five of the rally. It is funny to think about it this way. Another car with absolutely no luggage. Half of the Bobby White team. That's very cool, guys. What a great car. I've done lots of miles in my SF90, and I can tell you right now, while it might not have luggage space, it is a fantastic thing to drive on a long-distance journey like this. Style, speed, comfort, really nice. They're going to enjoy it. We've got an AMG GTR coming through as well here. Team 93 from Germany back on the rally. They are also in the right car. I drove my GTR back in 2018, in fact, London to Tokyo. That was an awesome, awesome drive. Ferrari Portofino driving through right now. These guys covered in all sorts of confetti and tinsel and things over the car. Do we get some revs to make sure we know they're here and they're off? Again from Germany. 458 Spider off. All sorts of stars and things going on there. You've got to love the vibes. You've got to love the atmosphere. Some more friends from Team 100 in the Hurricane Evo AR Collector. Our Collector. Hey, the plate very suitable. The guys are off. They've got the cameras rolling. Have fun. Enjoy, guys. See you on the road. Off as well. 
You've got to appreciate this dedication. Look at this AMG GTR and look at the number plate. V8 gum. It's a V8 AMG on the gum ball. I like that. I like that a lot. Turn up with a car prepped for the purpose. Look at this. Look at the way the cars go out. In fact, I'm going to walk up this way a little bit to show you guys. We come through the crowd, which is just awesome. This architecture around us. Beautiful city of Edinburgh. The cars come through this way and then, how's it going, guys? Let's hear it. <laughs> Woo! And then they go out here. Who knows which way we go next? But obviously, crew helping guide the, uh, guide the flow through. Off they go. Out they go. Out departing from Edinburgh. Now the Hurricane coming through, Hurricane Spider, Hurricane Evo Spider, Team 84 from France. This is a cool wrap on the Ferrari 812, the digital camo if you will, I like the camo style, works well with the sponsors and the livery over the top. Another car from the UK. Another Porsche coming through, 911 turbo convertible from France, but tell you what, after Team 83, look what's next, we've got Max in the XG220S, the car that's been living at my garage, this museum, Max in Team 7, this was the car he used to drive in the early rallies, when I certainly started getting into the Gumball Rally. They've made some noise. We've got Martin Tussman really on the, uh, the MCs. We've got Can the we music blasting as well. So apologies for any copyright or quiet two, sections three. or anything like that. But look at this. Everybody giving so it up. On. Max and Eve in the Jag, ready to cross the start the line. Partnership with D1 Fuels. They've got some synthetic biofuel in that for the rally, promoting sustainability and the future as well. Look at that thing, absolutely enormous for every bit the part as it comes down a Gumball 3000 grid. I think it's one of the coolest cars still to this day and the livery suits it so well. Max is off. <laughs> I think the car will be heading back to my garage after the rally. But Max has driven all sorts of different cars over the years. I love seeing that legendary 90s, well, it would be called a hypercar today, but supercar of the time, especially the XJ220S, the very, very rare S. There are only nine of them in total, six original cars, three that were updated back at the time. This is one of those three super rare thing. As you can see, everybody ready for that to head out from the grid today on its journey down towards London via Ripley Castle clouds have come back over it felt like the sunshine was trying to poke its way through but Max is off Max is going to be driving the rally today with this Ferrari 812 super fast ah this is going to be Max's car for the second half of the rally the Jag down to London Eve was piloting the 812 which will be the car of choice for the onwards five legs to Montenegro coming down now we've got Dallas Austin back again on the Gumball 3000 back in the Range Rover team 17 so many cars, so many people. It's amazing to see so many different supercars as well on this rally. Little line up there waiting to depart as a small little pack, I believe. Look down there, it almost looks like that bus is joining the grid, but no, I think that's just an Edinburgh City bus heading back across. Of course, this is right in the middle of town. We've got a 911 coming through, another 992 as they make their way right through the grid. Off they go. Oh look, there's a Lambo in town. Team 164 is Mark McCann. Mark McCann has his SVJ with rally lights with a roof box with a crazy exhaust. This thing, the rock box, is absolutely filthy. Doors up, looking mega, and of course ready to make a scene on this year's Gumball. There we go. Oh my goodness. Mark's gonna Okay, I can't hear anything anymore. Mark has deafened us with the rock box. <laughs> Mark, I couldn't hear you. Sorry? Well, no, we're going to catch up with you later on. See you on the ride. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was loud. <laughs> Mark McCann, 64. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. The rock box, he keeps it dirty. Doesn't like cleaning that thing. You've got to feel for the crowd that are right beside it over there because that is loud. A few SVJs on this rally, one particularly famous one still to come, but Mark McCann has made his way off the start line on his honeymoon, in fact, with his wife. Very, very nice way to do it, guys. I should turn around, though, because we have the stunning Lamborghini Countach, the car that we went out with the other day. It is here, it is ready. They are gonna have a whale of a time. Look at this. 
New Kuntash, super rare car, amazing to see that on the map. <laughs> Factory exhaust is still ridiculous. The first time I drove a New Kuntash, I remember thinking, wow, that's loud. From the box, Lamborghini's few off series hypercars, of course. And then we go from New Kuntash to Old Kuntash. Blast, the legends met these guys on a rally 10 years ago. The 50th anniversary Lamborghini rally. They are back though this time, Gumball 3000 with the OG Kuntash. They're going to have a whale of a time. <laughs> Look at that, listen to that. These two together, just absolutely epic to be completely honest. Such a cool pairing. We've got Hypercar Central after the Kuntash and the Bugatti we've seen. We've now got a Pagani Huayra coming through. The all white Pagani Huayra, Team 43. I believe taking part in the first leg of this rally, they'll be driving down to London. Some of the cars obviously doing different parts. Some people like myself swapping between cars as we go, but they're off, they're on the move and followed by two Koenigsegg Regeras. All right, coming up next on the grid, we have- We have Mr. JWW driving in the Koenigsegg Regera, heading out with this car today. Team 14, lovely color scheme, the blue over the orange, leather interior. Obviously these cars all from one collection, cars together, one Regera followed very closely as you can see by another Koenigsegg Regera doing it in pairs. Common almost on this grid you can say. <laughs> the second Regera rolls through, then after that we're going to have a lot of noise again, a lot of noise following afterwards. Team 41. Matching plates, very cool, but then, oh, look who it is, the Fina livery SVJ of Daily Driven Exotics. And they know how to make some noise, bringing the noise to the grid, bringing a lot of it. Sound, 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 and so much more. CDE launch control off the start line. <laughs> David is saying, that's loud, really loud. Cool throwback livery on the on the ramp, getting some photos here on the start line as well with that setup. Very cool, very, very, very cool. This is also a cool one. Ow. That's DD behind me. That's really loud, but this is Matt Armstrong on the with his Mercia Lago. Oh, uh, this is Matt's 30th, this 30th birthday oh, it is, today, mega. I expect that it is mercy that of course he's brought back to running life. This thing was a complete it's disastrous state. Please let me hear some noise. That's it. That's better, everyone cheering for Matt. We've got the revving, we've got him about to cross the start line. It's all happening at once. Let's hope he can make it with us. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Oh, I love that. All the signatures over the car as well. Look at this, look at this. Loads of people have signed it. That's cool. We've got a sticker. Where are we going? We're going right here. You've been stickered. <laughs> Let me Maxis Sarge, <laughs> Maxis Sarge, James, Mark, DDE. Oh my goodness gracious me. I've got no ears. I've got no ears. I don't know why I'm running around this way. This is really a bad idea. I've got no ears. Dude, I've got no ears left. <laughs> that was insane. Are you going to make it down to London? Well, we got past the start line. Uh, and you got past the start line in style. <laughs> You're the first to have a completely lit up rear going over the start line. <laughs> we had to do it in style. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, get them a little bit warmed up, a little bit, you know, prepped, a little bit ready. It's a long old drive. According to this, we've done 20 miles in on the new engine. Yeah. It's wild. It's running now. <laughs> How cool is it though? Because when I came to visit you, what, six months ago? Oh, it was big. You had so much work to do. It's mega to see you here. Super exciting. You guys are going to have a lot of fun today. I hope so. <laughs> see if we're going to catch you up. No, you're behind us. I'm waiting. I'm going to see everyone out. Over. I've done this before. I'll see you at the finish line. <laughs> have fun, guys. The photo shoots here are wrapping up. It's mercy time. <laughs> Revic has a wrapped up. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I, I don't even know anymore what's going on here. I'm in the way of the Defender. Let me pull back Team P45, Team 5 in the Defender. <laughs> Have fun, guys. How's it going? Tell us, defending the streets. Sorry? We're defending the streets today. Doing it in and comfort. <laughs> And protect your ears behind those guys. Defend in the streets. In the defender. In the defender. Have fun, guys. Enjoy. See you later. <laughs> the revving doesn't stop. I don't know how that car is still going. Years and years of that. Like years and years of that, and somehow still rolling. We've got an F8 spider coming through. We've got another hurricane behind. I don't know how many cars we've got, but we certainly know. That's Matt, that there are at least two Bugattis that we have not seen come through yet. Plus, my Zenvo is going to be back there somewhere. So, lots of fun still to come on this full start of the Gumball 3000 here in Edinburgh, Scotland. We have some movement here. Cars getting started. The F8 is gone. We've got a Hurricane Spider next. We've then got 911, Maserati. It's go time. Half the grid here. I think lots of the cars from Italy are probably part of the rental car fleet for this year's rally. Out the roof of the 911 Targa. <laughs> Maserati Gran Turismo next. Ferrari F8 Spider after that. The yellow F8 Spider is on the move. Team 34. It's crazy to think that there are 100 odd cars taking part in this that all start now moving and all making their way out of George Street. Immediately throwing it into the 992 911 convertible. Nearly missed the Urus come flying through there up the grid. <laughs> no holding back. Next rolling through, three-time gumballers in the Bentley. The Bentley Continental GT team number 88. Nice number for the rally. They're out as well. Next goes another 992 Turbo S this time in the bright yellow. I don't even know what's happening here. Mr. Martin Too Smooth is coming through with the McLaren Senna. Yes. I was expecting to see Schmee in his car. <laughs> but he's right here. What's happening? Do you know what? I want to take all of this in with everyone else, right? There's so many cool cars coming through, so much atmosphere. It's such a cool place to be. You've got to see it. You know, look, the center's going right past. Next up, we've got Tommy in the SVJ. Noisy SVJ. Oh, my goodness. Tommy's doing day one, and he's doing it in a loud way. Mercies and their burnouts. These guys are from Sweden with this car. Full SV package. Rear-wheel drive, though, I believe. Nice, guys. Or maybe it's an SV. I'm not even sure it's loud. It's loud either way. Loud and cool. The Lamborghini Urus here from Ukraine coming through. In fact, we've got a pair of black Uruses, one after the other. Urus, Urai, Uruses. I'm not even sure, but one is rolling through right there. The next is going to be following straight after. We've got Harry Pinero coming through. Harry Pinero in the Range Rover, driving all the way to Porto Montenegro on this year's route. I tell you what's really cool about this is that we've got a Toyota GR Yaris that's come over from Abu Dhabi. We've got an Abu Dhabi plated GR Yaris that's been shipped over to this. It's fun with cars like that. The only GR Yaris on the rally, of course. Quite an unusual choice. I used to have one in my garage. Quite fun to do something like that, to bring an unusual choice of car. I think they're going to have a lot of fun when we go out to the mountains in Switzerland. The right car for that location, for sure. We've got a Giallo Modena Ferrari 812 Superfast coming through. In fact, we've got a pair of Giallo Ferraris, one after the other. Again, lovely car for the purpose. I've said it a few times. I regret that I've never owned an 812. I love them, love driving them, love how they look, love what they're about, and especially the Competizione. I think there might be a comp somewhere, maybe coming through shortly. This is a 296 GTB. The 296, of course, being Ferrari's new hybrid V6 supercar. My GTS should be delivered at some point, I guess in six to nine months or so, which is quite exciting. Great way, it's a really, really good car. I've loved driving them and I cannot wait to do more miles. Maybe that will be my suitable car for next year's rally, we shall see. That's a cool way to do it. The lights are blinking, the roof lights, the headlights flashing. The guys from Sweden in the Brabus G63 as they come down the cobblestones of George Street here. God, the music has been cranked up, so let's hope I don't get in too much trouble for this one when making videos. Copyright in the internet. <laughs> Can't beat it, but they're rolling through. Love the colour and the satin bronze. That's really nice. Have fun, guys. <laughs> Team 115, they are out of here. I sold my G, but don't worry. Another might come down the line before you know it. 
Who is Love it, the dark is? red Ferrari SF90 Stradale. Another SF90 coming through. As I said before, wonderful car for the rally, Team 97. They're out, engine is running. Of course, hybrid, you can pop it into full E-Drive. They've got that V8 fired up. So we've got the Lambo Hurricane Spider here. Kind of cool what they've done with the rivets on that design to make it look like all the panels are rivets. That sounds pretty loud as well. Team 28, pilots literally ready for flight on this year's rally. The flight crew for Gumball 3000 are through. The Mercedes SL63 has just gone straight past me here. A car on which the new GT is no doubt going to share a lot of elements, which I can't wait to see soon. That's actually a really nice car to drive on this. I'm yet to get behind the wheel of a new SL. Hopefully give that a go before too long. Back with the Raris, F8 Spider. There's still so many more cars, as they just said, that are rolling through. 58 in the F8 Spider. We've got another Urus coming beyond that, and so many more cars still to make their way through. In fact, apart from seeing my Zenvo now waiting down there, we also have a couple of bugs in the very, very near future. Right, the Urus is coming past, but look at this. We've got a Bugatti. Chiron right behind, yes, you can see that there. We've got the revving of the Urus. <laughs> oh, we've got typical gamer. Have fun, we'll see you on the road. <laughs> they are off. Some good friends as well, the four of them in that Urus for the rally then. Check this out. Bugatti Chiron. Seen this car. In fact, my Zenbo and this car were together on the uh, Supercar Owners Circle tour that we did last year when I'd just taken delivery on this. The Chiron is joining the departures here from Edinburgh. Not one Bugatti Chiron, but two Bugatti Chirons on the start line here, coming through together. <laughs> Have fun. Enjoy. <laughs> Love that, the launch blue and blue. Lord Aleem with this car that I've seen before, seen out in the Middle East. Oh. They're gonna have a good rally for sure. Good time setting off. Pair of Bugatti Chirons, hey, would you believe it? Right together, right together, and off they go. Plus we've got a GT4 RS. I actually love that. Very nice, guys, very, very nice. Heading out. Sounds so good. In fact, inside it sounds even better with those intakes that you have right on those quarter windows at the back behind your ears when you're driving. Coming through right now, Team Trill, Bun B. We've done so many rallies together. Bun's probably done even more than I have. Great guys, always fun. Part of the life of the party, that's what it's about. And obviously, they're gonna get a sticker when they come past because that's just how we roll, right? Oh, they've got the merch for the fans. That's cool as well. Let me, uh, let me run up and go in part one. How are you guys? You're getting stickered, guys. Where are we going? <laughs> and uh, where are you guys from so the people in Edinburgh know where you are? <laughs> we'll put it on. Enjoy. Have a good rally, guys. <laughs> Enjoy. Sweet. Rocking the Team Trill. They provided the Trill Burgers that we had at the Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama on the Toronto to Miami rally. Have done so many more. Always fun to have them on the grid. Then we've got a lovely Viper Green GT3. Viper Green is a fabulous color. It's really nice for the Performante Ladies right behind. A couple of other late arrivals that I didn't necessarily see horses. last night before we're gonna run down and try and join all of this, try and join all of the action. And That's and a loud perf. That Performante is making a lot of noise down here. You may even get a free this is fun, look. From the heart right down there, it's completely on it. Ladies and gentlemen, Love give it up for our sponsors. Love the vibe. The people Love the that was loud, very loud. Look at this. Give it. Hands up, hands up. Who wants a t shirt? Who wants a t shirt? We need some noise. We need some noise. We've seen the hard rock stickers on the cars. I'm going to the microphone to the hard rock team. Given that the hard rock cafe is literally right up there over on the right. One, two, three. Did you hear what he said? He said, Give us your best yee haw. There are still more cars coming. One, two, three. Endless cars. Wow, this is cool, this is crazy. Atmosphere is buzzing. Hard Rock have got the crown miles, that's what we like. Getting out their team merch, getting out the t-shirts to everybody here in the Range Rover. <laughs> Fun, right, then we've got another SVJ. Bright yellow this time around. We're chatting with these guys, they're driven it up here. I can't believe the cars are just going on and on and on and on and on here. We've got more noise from the SVJ. If there's an event store in town, you know it's gonna be a noisy ride. These things are loud and they like to let you know about it. I'm hoping that's not about to rev right next to me. No, we're good. Oh, we weren't good. 
<laughs> That's all the Rev Limiter for the John moment. Oh my gosh, right, Range Rover, G-Wagon. That color is now called Vintage Blue. It used to be called China Blue. It's now Vintage Blue. Then we've got a team all running together down beyond. This part of the crowd is obviously still equally busy. Our pink van is coming somewhere off in the distance, but we haven't been able to see it yet before it's going to be time for us to hop out and go as well. This is Team Garo, which will soon be Young Philly's team. Young Philly isn't yet here. He will be picked up along the way today to join the rest of the journey they did the previous outing and they're doing it in that g wagon now this sls amg black series which i'll be driving mine of tomorrow is one of the reasons i bought one of these it has the rentec r1 package it's done the rally many times on different continents in fact i've actually been overtaken in ways i will never forget by this car and i have some very very fond memories of it it's really a cool 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 thing just seeing it when it's been liveried up has been super exciting and it's taking part for the start here part of the gumball family oh the big fire the wraps that the these guys have are here. super reflective another sco they've got the flares that's cool <laughs> makes us some epic photos as they roll through matching liveries as well between the different cars the sto then we've got the KN and we've got a few other cars following behind. We're about to have to go and line up in a second. You can see we're down to the last kind of 10 cars or so. Maybe we start thinking about making our way down, getting what we need to get because we're taking some stuff in the van and we'll go from there. Loving it with the flares. <laughs> very, very, very cool. So we'll wait for these guys from Romania. Obviously not too far from our end destination in Montenegro. I say not too far, Bucharest is a good 15 hour drive. Don't ask me how I know, but um, this comes through. Then we've got a GT3 behind, and then we're pretty much towards the end. We just, of course, have our departure in the Zenva, which I'm very much looking forward to. Team 50 here, as they uh, make their way out of here with the flare, gentle cruise, and off they go. Right, the GT3 is coming through, then the Bentley, then the Dawn, then their Escalade support wagon, which probably means it's time that we start walking down. They're all grouped here, I imagine. We should head through and go get ready to hop into the Zenva. So let's make our way through and see the last cars and then get some started ourselves. This is quite cool, isn't it? Makes for quite the photos. We've got the Bentley followed by the Dawn, then we've got the Escalade. I'm gonna try and squeeze straight on through here, past everyone as we come down towards, my car's down towards the other end, past the Escalade. We've got a Maserati MC20 Cielo, Cielo being the convertible Cielo, Cielo, maybe, I'm not sure. Then we've got a support vehicle, then we've got us. So then it will be our turn to drive over that in just a moment. Let's come through, let's get the car ready, and then let's prepare to head onwards any minute now. We're just loading up some stuff, helping the crew take some things, some of the banners that are here. Looks like the grid's closed, and <laughs> it's gonna be time to go. It is time, let's start this up. Here we go. Okay, we don't wanna miss the uh, start just because we weren't quite ready. So we're out, we're rolling up. It's start time here in Edinburgh, in the Zenvo. Hi everyone. <laughs> oh, we've waited until the end. We've seen all the cars out. We're gonna get our little moment when we get to the front as well, make a cool photo, but uh, through we roll up to the start. And look at this, look at the excitement of this. The grid, the checkpoint, the craziness. We are going through and we're gonna hop out just up here to go and uh, get ourselves the shot. Our DJ today, I can't believe what we've just seen. Bugattis, Koenigseggs, Pagani, all of the crazy cars. We're here in my Zenvo. We've departed from the start line. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey. Gumball 3000 has begun. Grab a quick picture, let's do it. Look at the camera. Nice one. <laughs> We've begun, we're underway, the rally is now happening, but that's it, the complete start of this year's Gumball 3000. Yeah. Hi there, we are started, we are rocking and rolling. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to be subscribed, stay tuned, because we've got a lot of rally ahead of us. It's the Zenvo today, the SLS tomorrow, and loads more cars from there as we make our way down to Montenegro. That's it for now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers!